We've had um, an electrical fire. Turbo goat up there. Having a near death experience in the desert. Hi guys and um, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the first video on our America road trip. I'm having to completely redo this intro just to um, cover a few things because everything went a little bit wrong on the first day, starting with the journey there. So this was supposed to be our journey there. And this is what actually happened. We're on a plane. We are going to Las Vegas and we are going to be visiting a few different places. So we're going to be going to Bootleg Canyon, Moab, and also we're going to go to the old rampage sites and try not to kill ourselves. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to see that. We um, need your attention for the next uh, few minutes. I'll explain to you what's happened and then you'll understand uh, why we are in the process of uh, diverting to Keflavik. So we've had um, an electrical uh, event via the front um, galley and that's of course rather acrid uh, smoke and as a precaution we want to get that investigated uh, before we continue as you're well aware it's a long flight to las vegas and i'm not prepared to continue over fairly remote uh, territory without knowing exactly uh, what's happened so that being the case we are now in the process of diverting to Keflavik so I'd like you to follow all the instructions given to you by the cabin crew um, very shortly we will start to dump some fuel uh, so if you're sat uh, towards the rear of the aircraft and, uh, looking out the windows you may see some uh, what looks like smoke coming from the wingtips that's uh, just fuel being uh, dumped it's going to take us about 30 minutes and please do pay attention to all the instructions given to you from the uh, cabin crew and you're live on Instagram, don't say shit or We're in Iceland, not where we're supposed to be going. Yes, sir. And the snack bar is closed. A couple of ovens which had to be isolated and um, we've done that now and there's no other damage. So we are effectively Iceland. good to continue. Then eventually we get to Vegas, everything's great. We have around like three or four hours sleep because jet lag and then we went to go and ride bootleg canyon and we started filming and james's gopro was covered in what we think is sun cream better off asking him in the comments what's on his lens uh enjoying the heat then i decide to dress very inappropriately for the desert i was wearing a full black outfit black trousers nobody's told fran that the short has been invented yet and she's opted for some trousers black t-shirt i didn't have a water cage on my bike we were relying entirely on james's hip pack and water bottle we weren't entirely sure of the route that we were taking got a bit lost and off track as you can see here the tracks were a little bit difficult to navigate so yeah we ended up going a bit off course i panic because i'm overheated and dehydrated and eventually we find a gas station where i rehydrate pull my shit together after that i did feel a little bit better um, after i'd rehydrated but i did decide to stop riding for the day so i took the drone up the hill to get some cool shots of james and what i will do because this video is a little bit of a mismatch i'm gonna put the chapters down below so if there's anything specific that you want to see you'll be able to easily navigate to that bit and the next vlog won't be so much of a show because we've checked the footage already and it's all looking good nobody's camera smeary and nobody ends up having a near-death experience in the desert so we're currently building the bikes up in the car park here's the big key the bike. we're super stoked as well on this trip we've actually got pedro supporting us so they sent us out kindly a pro burrito toolkit which has everything that you need and so we're going to be using this to build up the bikes so pedro's got everything you'd expect for a travel toolkit but this is quite cool it's a, a preset torque wrench to five newton meters, which is really good for um, handlebars. So you can see it click there when I hit the torque. Being taken in the local culture, remembering it's important to stay hydrated, obviously. For some reason in America, what would probably be like a bottle that would last a family two or three days in the UK, this is just like a drink for one person from a gas station. 
wild. Like, it's literally the size of my head. Look at the natural colours. One Franz head of soda, please. <laughs> she doesn't want me to burn, guys. <laughs> Desert spec. Oh, an appropriate amount on your arms. Interesting. So we've just pedalled up this access road here and we are going to drop into a trail called Caldera. What we're going to do today, just to ease ourselves into it, because the terrain's not like anything we really ride ever, we're going to do a loop. So we're going to do Caldera, which I believe is a blue graded trail. And then we're going to see how we feel, see how we're riding and then drop into Ernie's Epic, which is a black trail, which is a UK red, I believe. But we're going to see how we go. This is the terrain. Um, in case you were wondering, because the GoPro never picks it up when it's on your head really. Rocks. You get that effect, but jank, but it's dry, which is sick. Yeah, lizards keep running out in front of us as well, which is kind of weird. Obviously, I'm from the UK and lizards aren't something that you see on our trails. Are you enjoying yourself? And sick. How is the t-shirt weather? Absolutely sick. No beep. Yeah. Right, let's go ride Caldera. Here we go then. Probably nothing worth filming just yet, but the view is absolutely insane. I think this is what we want and yeah it's just like a like not particularly challenging really good to get used to this kind of loose gravelly uh surface that we have out here in the desert James on the bikes just to show you how close we are to vegas though there it is that like basically justifies our slightly clickbaity title right i'm just riding down a section because i'm on media duty for the next bit Hopefully, either in the previous shot or the next shot, you'll see a nice off-board of Fran right in this section. And I hope she doesn't freak out over these rocks. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to hear that. Yes, no freaking out. Did you? <laughs> I guess you didn't use a low gear. I used a low ish gear. Low for Fred. <sighs> look, 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 a thing, a thing, a thing. Can you not see? Oh, I thought you meant like small animal, but there's like a huge turbo goat up there. Turbo goat? Look, I'm not David Attenborough, all right? side of the world in the desert just you wouldn't normally see this and it's so sick and then it's absolutely gone
I hope you enjoyed the absolute show of a vlog. I think that the drone footage at the end actually saved it, but let me know in the comments what you think. Next week's video is going to be in Moab and we are going to be riding Slick Rock. So if you want to watch that, then make sure you subscribe and we will catch you next Sunday.